Taurus Scorpio, my name is Kim and I'll do your daily reading for December 21st, 2020. Um, if you want a private reading or feel like supporting the channel, look in the description box below and let's get started. So we start by saying a little prayer for uh, the divine white light to come in and bless this reading, bless the watchers as they're watching. Um, we ask for our angels and spirit guides. Anybody that has a good positive message for the sign of Scorpio for 2000, uh, 2020, December 21st, Monday for Scorpio. This is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. This will be a little bit shorter reading than the weekly. Um, let's see. Wisdom of the Oracle deck for Scorpio. I think it's that one and this one. Okay, community and chop wood. Chop wood is about staying busy um, because it's trying to get, it's actually about getting your vibration higher when it gets down to it. It's about taking your mind off of the possible thinking of negative thoughts of lack. It's, it's getting away from that and trying to raise your vibration by concentrating on these uh, mundane everyday chores that just keep you busy and in return raises your vibration which in return ch can change your um, environment and affects what you manifest so community is about feeling belonging to a group and it may be a new affiliation for you um, but this group makes you feel like you belong um, Everybody matters in this group. No matter how large or small the part is, everybody matters. All right. So let's get a spell casting card for you. Scorpio. Or Scorpio. December 21st, 2020. We have Passion. And we have career. So this there might be some new wand-like energy, fire energy. Maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But Scorpio, this is all the passion and focus and inspiration on your career. That might be the new affiliation. All right. So make sure you keep your thoughts positive, though, with that chopped wood. That's the only thing I'd be a little concerned about. Um, your tea leaves for you, Scorpio. December 21st, 2020. Oh, good. Wow. Wow. Okay, it really might be a job place since we have on community, we have door. Uh, opportunities are waiting for you. Those are like all of the aces. It could be any of the aces. It's just a pathway for you to go down. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Target. A goal-oriented person. Acts, forces working against you, that would be the mind chatter. I think that that's about, about the self-delusions by talking about lack and, and uh, negative things in your head. I think it's about your, your thoughts. Then Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. And the Ram is also associated with um, the sign of Aries. All right, let's get you a Kim Kranz archetype card. Next, Kim Kranz archetype from the wild unknown for our sign of Scorpio, December 21st, 2020. Let's shuffle a little bit more. The empty room, okay, wow, so this card was about opportunities waiting for you and the empty room is all about brand new opportunities and lots of possibilities so you don't want to limit yourself when you have the empty room you definitely have new possibilities and opportunities for you waiting all right now let's uh clarify some of these cards with the tarot maybe we can find out what kind of um characters are in your life right now or what this is about so chop wood let's see what this is about by the by the tarot 
Okay, what is chop wood here for, for Scorpio? Whoa. And we have the Emperor. So we have strong Aries in in this reading. We have strong Aries. This is really about just keeping busy. You know, he's the king of all kings. He is action. He's the yang energy, the masculine um, energy of action, creativity, creation. This person is an entrepreneur, so you may be starting a new business. It may be your own. We'll see what community has to do with this reading. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doing things behind the scenes um, in this group with love, out of love, out of love and compassion. And it may be having to have compassion because of a broken heart, something that broke your heart. Three of Swords could be a third party situation, uh, but the Queen of Cups handles things with love, caring, warm. Let's see what passion is. If I don't flip them all on the floor, we have King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is kind of like your Emperor energy. It's close to it. Um, it's not the King of Kings, though. This is the King of, like, creativity, inspiration, being bold. And then we have the career card. So why is the career card here? This one too. Patience. Patience on something is needed. This thing that you think is impossible is possible with temperance. Uh, but the temperance, this card of Sagittarius is here to tell you that the balance that you must have right now is uh, based on your patience. Your patience and your, your ability to wait for divine timing. We have... Three of Pentacles. So this is about a cooperation like with a group of people. And then we have the Five of Wands. So there's somebody that is not agreeing with... Like everybody looks like they have the right idea. You know what I mean? Everybody thinks they've got the right idea. And I think they're bumping heads. And this is probably at your work or a career related issue. All right, guys. Well, step through those opportunities and have a really great week. Have a good Monday. Bye.